Hi there. This is Dr. John Whitcomb with News and Nutrition talking about NAC and your aging brain. NAC. What is NAC? N-acetylcysteine. It is basically the two amino acids that are the rate-limiting step to making glutathione. What's glutathione? Glutathione is your body's master antioxidant. And you need a lot of it. It's good for your brain. It helps you, helps you soak up um, free radicals and neutralize them. And NAC is very powerful. It was, I was an internal medicine resident in the 1970s when NAC was first released. And it was very powerful for Tylenol overdoses. Literally overnight, folks who had Tylenol overdoses, the number one cause of suicide attempt in America, would be saved. What used to be an absolute inevitable death from liver failure suddenly became a, a, a pure cure. Very dramatic. And I personally have treated mm, 50 people with Tylenol overdoses over my 30-year emergency medicine career. It works like a dream. And I observed it going from an ICU drug to a, let's not get them to the ICU because they all get better, let's just do it on the floor, to a, let's not admit them to the hospital, let's just do it in the ER, to a, you know, why don't we just give you an oral prescription to take home after we give you a bolus in the ER, to a supplement over the counter. It's been a supplement over the counter for the last hmm, 15 years. And suddenly, the FDA got a bee in its bonnet that it wasn't safe. And it withdrew it from the market. Now, there was a, there's been a huge uproar, and you should know about this. There's a huge uproar. Now, the FDA's reason for, here, let me quote it, not a lawful dietary ingredient per the FDA's drug exclusion clause because the ingredient was first authorized for investigation as a new drug before it was marketed as a dietary supplement. That sounds like a lawyer made that up to justify the FDA doing it. What's clearly happened is the FDA has had their palm greased by a, some legislator. $200,000 has changed hands somewhere, and it's hidden because we can't tell, because all of our lobbying, the rest of the world calls what we call lobbying, the rest of the world calls it bribing. But all the bribing we have been doing of our elected officials has led to pressure on some poor FDA official that's squirming now because of the pressure from somebody. This is Big Pharma's reach into our pocketbooks. NAC is safe, and it is critically important for you to have it. Now, there is one death from NAC. One towel overdose was meant to get a 10-gram dose of NAC, 10-gram IV, and instead, by error, got 100 grams, and that person died of an overdose of some toxicity. The only case we know. I promise you there are a thousand cases of Benadryl overdose that have killed people. There's a thousand cases of Tylenol that over killed people. We know how to safely use those, but NAC is safe. You should know about this, because there's multiple studies that show that NAC increases your glutathione only if you're deficient. It doesn't increase it if you're above. And you only absorb about 10% of it orally, so it's really hard to get a toxic dose orally. You'd have to take kilos of the stuff. Isn't that interesting? It is a safe drug. It helps you make your own glutathione. It is really important for the human brain. I have seen it personally work on me, helping me lower my homocysteine level which was stubbornly high. I have personally taken it myself because I measured multiple toxins in my blood that were persistent because I have two genetic defects to making glutathione. And when I took NAC, all of the chemicals in my blood went to normal. I was in 95th percentile in nine different chemicals and they all went to normal. With NAC, every day, no toxicity and a dramatic improvement. What will work for me? I intend to take NAC as long as I can. I have written a letter to everybody I can get my hands on, 
and I would urge you to be vocal about it. Write the FDA. You can look up the FDA's website about NAC. It's still under uh, investigation. But make your voice heard. This is something that's important for you and important for all of us. NAC is a safe, safe compound. Dr. John Whitcomb, News and Nutrition.